I saw a cold breeze blew in, and um, I turned over, and Darren Pfeiffer from the Hollywood Undead brought all the cold weather from the East Coast with him here. <laughs> and um, tried not to. I mean, I was holding a soda, and it literally froze. But um, man, Darren. It's Great to see you, dude. Good to be it's here. Great to see you, man. Yeah. Let's talk about like your like writing process. So you're with your band, and you guys are coming up with coming up with uh, new grooves and stuff, and you're coming up with a new song. And what what is your writing process, and how you come up with your part for that song? Like, what do you do? Well, uh, we work really closely with our producers. And uh, nine times out of ten, uh, the beats that work the best for the songs are just the straight up the meat and potatoes grooves. Uh, just, I, I like to call it, you, you, you can't mess with it. It's just a solid groove and there's nothing not to like about it. It's not overly tricky or anything like that. So, uh, when it comes time to put down the live drums uh, in the recordings, I, I try to bring a little bit of life to it. Uh, to, you know, stick to stick to the main ideas, uh, you know, with that solid groove, but then embellish on it a little bit more. So it's not a the writing process. By the time you get to the live drums, it's not a kind of free for all. You know, these are boring drums, and now I want to go crazy over it. The boring drums for me is, is what keeps the song in my mind. So my favorite drum grooves, you know, are the ones that are just straight up pounding four on the floor. You know, you really can't mess with those grooves at all. Now, do you uh, do you play with a click in your band? I do. And how uh, how how would you say you 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 choose to play with that click? Are you you play behind the click, on the click, or in front of the click? <laughs> it really depends on the song, because whether you're playing to, to tracks or a click, you still want to you still want to be musical. You still or, or I still want that freedom to if a song during the chorus wants to lay back and broaden out a little bit, then it can still do that. So. Uh, for the verses, I'll be like in the middle of the beat, just right on trying to bury the click. And then for the choruses, try to back off a little bit and play a little behind the beat. Okay. You know? So I, I grew up to rock and roll. My passion is rock and roll. And I, I think a lot of rock music now is, is really, it's, it's to the beat, everything is completely quantized out. And you know, my favorite, my favorite bands and my favorite songs, they moved a little bit. You know, the whole band moved forward played ahead of the beat on some sections and behind the beat on some sections. So it's not really like this entire song lays behind the beat. Certain sections of the song can move a little bit on the beat, behind the beat or on top of the beat. So was it difficult to like learn how to how to play just behind the beat or right on the beat? Because normally like when you're first starting out as a drummer, you like you try to bury that click and if you can't hear the click then you know that, that you're right on it. Yeah. But I know it's gotta be a little difficult to to know exactly, okay, I'm gonna push it a little bit here, or I'm gonna pull it back just a little bit, but I've gotta stay right in that time. Was it was it um was it a difficult process to learn or was it just well, easy? You can rely a lot on your instincts. I mean if you um, I mean the, the, the skill that it takes just to play, just to bury the click, and yeah, you're right, if you don't hear it then you're you're on it, you know. But unfortunately I think that that's where a lot of drummers stop. Like I can play to the click, I can bury the click, but that's it. But at the end of the day, it might not it might not sound all that great. And the other musicians in the band, chances are, if you're the drummer is the only one that's going to hear the click. You know, your guitarist is not on the click, your singer's not on the click. So they might naturally want to feel different sections of the music faster or slower, just have a little bit of breath to it. But for any drummer that plays to a click needs to get that skill first, which takes practice to bury that click and to really know what it means to. You know, to not speed up fills, not to speed up or slow down transitions, to really, really play on that click and bury it, own it. Then, I think it's helpful to play a song without the click and listen back to it with a click, you know, just to see, okay, this is kind of naturally where we want to go with it. And it's not unusual nowadays. I mean, the technology is so good that you can have, you can program in a click that will naturally speed up just a little bit, like a, like a half of a click. You know, so it doesn't sound like the song is speeding up, but there's a little bit more, you know, energy to a certain section, or there's a little, you know, there's a little more chill to another. A little more of a human feel as opposed to just being a robot. Darren, dude, thanks for stopping by, dude. It's always great to see you, man. And like that was, that was some really powerful and valuable information that our viewers love hearing about. And um, dude, we'll see you out on the road. <laughs> thanks.